So we'll go ahead and share the screen. Share. All right. Can you guys see my screen? Yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, yes. Perfect. Okay. So as you can see, I actually made this through Canva. So we're gonna go over that afterwards. Let's put this down. Okay, so Instagram and Canva, that's what we're discussing today. And we're gonna start with the Instagram algorithm. So as I spoke in my last class, Instagram has changed the algorithm and who sees your content and who doesn't. So basically reels is what's being pushed the most. And we will talk about reels in just a little bit. Um, but you want to get the most engagement from your Instagram. There are tips and tricks that you can do. And some of that is using questions in your stories. So if you go into your stories and like I mentioned, you will see how to do that in just a little bit. Um, if you ask questions and get people to reply to those questions, your content will show more to your following, you can say. Uh, you, it's said that you should be sharing 10 stories a day, which actually is a lot. But if you space it out throughout the day, your, once again, content will be shown to more followers than if you weren't to do this. Now, some of the Instagram tools that you can use are um, some of the tools so that they promote your page more for free without having to pay, you know, um, ad time or anything like that are using some of their filters, their questions, their reels, their IGTV. IGTV is a really good content for um, if you're explaining something for real estate, let's say you have a Anything that's over a minute long will go onto your IGTV. So if you have a video explaining to someone or even doing a, a home tour and you're like, you know what, I'm going to post this onto my Instagram, you'll do that on your IGTV. You can also do little snippets um, on your story. And for reels, reels only goes up to 30 seconds. So you could choose between 15 seconds, 30 seconds. And those are quicker videos, but those are shared to people that aren't even following you. So that's pushed the most out of everything you post are reels. So I highly recommend doing that. Uh, if you look under my business page, which is uh, home with Mary Francis. So the at symbol and then home with Mary Francis, you can see that I posted a reel and I don't have that. I don't have my main following on that one, but I had over a thousand views and it was my first time ever posting a reel, you know, versus a video that I posted on my page and that only had 63 views. So you see the difference. It's, it's important to do a reels, but Reels is your opportunity to show people who you are, what you do. You can, you know, give snippets, tips, things like that on the real estate side. For example, you can make a video about home buying. You know, you can ask questions so that people can and or ask you in the comment section. So this right here on the next one is a picture of the algorithm. So engagement right here. This is number one, it says save posts. So when your followers save your post, it triggers the algorithm that people are interested in your post and they then they will show it more to your following. Now remember, um, reels is shown to people that don't follow you. And then your actual posts are only shown to people that follow you. Sometimes they can show, um, but not as much as reels. And number two is when they share the post. So a lot of times I've seen a lot of people post on their stories, which deletes after 24 hours. So when you post something on your stories, it only stays up there for 24 hours, but you can save it if you wanted to. But long story short, you want to share this. There's... Um, Basically, ask your followers, hey, save my post, please. If you support me, if you believe in me, if you like the content I post, please share, save. 
that's going to help you guys with the algorithm. Um, and the least important in, is likes. So a lot of people are like, oh, if I get 500 likes, then, you know, that's going to help me out. But it really doesn't. The most important one is when they save your posts. Um, so definitely ask your friends, hey, look, could you please just click the save button? I'll show you. I think I actually took a picture of that, too, so I can show you where that's located. But you could even save your own posts or you can ask your family to do that as well. Um, here are some tips as well to um, basically step up your <laughs> post game. <laughs> you can utilize the insights. So when you do a business Instagram, not just a personal one, but a business one, which is also free, they give you insights. So basically it will tell you um, what people have liked, what posts got the most saves, shares. It'll tell you how many people saved your post, how many people had shared your post. It won't say who, but it does show how many. Um, and then it will tell you how many people viewed it, things like that. This is a good tool to keep track of because it allows you to know, okay, I posted about this and you know it got the most interaction with it. Uh, and then that way you can keep posting more things that you know is what people are looking for. Um, you could post your listings. You could post, you know, if you have, if you, you're doing rental properties, you could post that as well. And then get people to maybe ask a question in the caption so that people reply. Because comments, even though they're number three, not as important as saves, at least, you um, they will get an interaction going. Now, if you give a tip under the caption, then you're more likely to have them save it. So for example, I did on my latest post, I did um, a tip on cleaning your shower heads and then what you can, what product you can use, basically vinegar. And if you wanted to add baking soda, you could do that. I had a few people save that post because they are looking forward to going back to that post and hoping that it doesn't get lost, you know, and yeah. So. I remember how to clean the shower heads. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there you go. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Now, yeah. um, post at strategic times. Once again, the insight tools, that will let you know what is a good posting time. So posting time does matter. If you have a business Instagram, it will tell you on there where your followers are from. If you know they're USA, if they're you know a different country, and it'll tell you the times that they are mostly active on per day. So Monday, the most interactive time might be 6 p.m. And then on Friday, it might be 3 p.m. So it's really good to start learning what time of day and each and what day is the best interaction time or the, the most followers are on. So then you can post then so that it's more likely to be seen by more people than if you were to post on, let's say, noon and only 100 people are on. But the Instagram insight tools telling you that at 6 p.m. there's a thousand people on rather than a hundred. So, you know, that, that helps a lot. So definitely keep track of your times and the dates because that makes a big difference when posting. Be personable. So show your personality, show who you are in your captions, in your posts. Uh, if you do a real, you know, if you're a funny person, then post your funny. Um, if you like to dance, you know, maybe do a little dance to start off the reel and then get serious. Whatever your, whatever your personality is, show it. Show it in your videos so that people know who you are. But also remember to keep it professional uh, because, I mean, this is your business. Uh, you don't want to be leaving a bad mark, but show who you are. Definitely show you are. Um, make use of trends. So I've seen a lot, you know, with the generation now, they do videos to different songs and things like that. Implement that into your videos. If you know a song is trending and it's an appropriate song because you don't want a whole bunch of cuss words in there, <laughs> um, use that onto your video. Even you can lower the volume so that it's not the main focus in the video. So, you know, they hear you the most, but they could 
hear that just a little bit. Um, and that also triggers Instagram as well. So when you use their music, because mm -hmm. they allow you to add music to your videos, mm -hmm. that especially if it's a trending song, they push those videos more. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so definitely use, you know, songs. I like to I, I switch it all up. I'll use some Spanish songs. I'll use Frank Sinatra. Like I, I use it all because I just love all kinds of music. Mm -hmm. So if so you know, have it in their library? Mm -hmm. yes, they have it in their library and it's free. So you just type in the song and then it'll pop up. And I have never really not found a song there. They have like everything. All, all, everything, everything. Mm -hmm. So there like maybe two, two or three times I didn't find a song, but um, if they have everything from the 60s, 50s, 2000s, 80s, all of it. So use that, make use of the trends. Or if you see like a dance that's, you know, going viral, maybe hop on that, but just to show them a little bit of personality, like, hey, I'm still, you know, I, I know what's trending, what's you know, what's here? going on, meaning if I know what's going on, then I know what's going on on the market, possibly, you see, and you don't want to narrow your clientele either. You want to be able to show um, a diverse page, you could say. Now, as I mentioned, whatever your personality is, stick to that because you don't want to seem like you're someone you're not. And also, you don't want to get the wrong clientele. Like if you know you work good with, you know, certain clients, more serious clients, then don't go making dance videos. You know, if you prefer those more serious clients, then keep mm -hmm. your videos more serious, you know. Um, now step up your story game. <laughs> so as mentioned in the previous slide, um, if you post 10 times at least on your stories, then throughout the day, then it'll show on the very top of the Instagram homepage and people are more likely to click on that. And then when they click on your story, they're like, oh, I like what they posted or you can share your latest post onto your story. And they're like, oh, let me read that. And they'll click on it and then they'll go onto your page. Now you don't have to post anything real estate onto your story. You could be like, here's me drinking a coffee. You don't even have to show your face, show your coffee. Like anything like that throughout the day, just showing that you're being kind of interactive. And like I said, 10 times could be a lot. So I don't really always post 10 times, but you'd be surprised at how quick, how quickly if you just put one every hour or something like that, like how quickly 10 comes. Um, now you can promote your posts. I would probably keep that to the command, which we'll go over that you know, um, probably next month, but I know Raymond covers that as well. And that's another class that you can look into is the command. So you can promote your posts through that, but Instagram also allows you to promote your own posts and you can choose age range. You can choose location. So if you say Virginia beach within five miles, you can do that and it'll show two people that are active. And then you can also choose hashtags. So you say you want people that are looking to buy and things like that. When you promote your posts, you would put buyers, selling, home, realtor, real estate, things like that. Those keywords that will pop up whenever you are promoting it. But as mentioned, you can do that through command as well. And you can attend one of those classes and learn more about that. But if you decided to do it through Instagram, you can do that as well. So this is Instagram stories. So I think it's actually the next, no, okay. Okay, so Instagram stories right here, you can choose the letter style. This is boomerang. If you've ever seen any of Thomasina's boomerangs, uh, she does like to post those and they are, they're cute. Basically what a boomerang is, is let's say you go like this. On that boomerang, it'll go back again. So it's like, eh, <laughs> it's like that and then layouts let's say you have a new listing and you want to put it onto your story see this is story this is a post which will show on your page you can do a layout and do multiple pictures of your listing and then post it onto your story simple bam 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 post it there's a post back. 
Or we can do it on story. We can do it on post. We can yep. do it on real. Mm -hmm. You so, can do it on real. Real will give you the option uh, to make it a longer video, like 15, 30 seconds, things like that. And your story, it'll keep recording a new set. I think it's like maybe five or 10 seconds, but it'll do like little sets. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you'll just hold this white button down for a video or just tap it for a picture. But with the layouts, you can do that as a post story reels, things like that. They do give you a bunch of options right here. Um, Multi-captures, like it'll take a bunch of pictures at once. Um, and then down here, these are filters. So as mentioned earlier, Instagram likes when you use all of their content, music, filters, things like that. So remember when I said you can post a story of just your coffee? Well, this filter right here, the specific one that I have right here, and you can choose multiple different ones, but this one says good morning, good evening, and good afternoon. And then some sparkles. <laughs> but I like to use that for my coffee shot. I'll just take a picture of the coffee and it says good morning. And then it, it will show up on people's home page at the very top. And then they have silly ones. They have, you know, you can actually create your own filter eventually. Uh, it is a little bit of a longer process, but if anybody's interested in that, let me know. And maybe I could do a class on that as well. But you could do your own little filter and others including people that aren't following you will see that and it and it'll take them to your page so that's a good way of getting your name out yes. there you know without really having to do anything you just make it one time and then for months and months and months and months people can use that filter so let's say you wanted to do a filter that says sold with a sold sign you can do that and then people can use that for their stories and their reels and mm. things like that so it's a good promo you can say without too much effort. Um, I mean, it is a little process to make the filter, but yeah, so you can do that as well. And then the next one, let me pause it. So this is an Instagram reel. I did this in my last class. I shared this one. This agent shows multi-million dollar homes. They sell multi-million dollar homes and they have a large following on their Instagram. They show people, they show clientele these homes. And if you look in the captions or in the comment section, I mean, in the comment section, you'll see a lot of people asking him, where is this home located? How much is it being sold for? They're asking, which means they're interested. So the more you post videos, you never know who sees it. I've seen multiple agents post videos and in the comment section, you will see people saying, I'm interested in this home. How can I get in contact with you? Literally, it will show to people in your area. So I highly recommend to use reels, especially if you're listing a home, do a quick 15, 30 second reel because it will show pe to people in your area. And then you're more to, more likely to get a comment saying, hey, I like this home. Please let me get more info on it. So here's just, I'll, I'll go ahead and click play so you can hear kind of what he does. Um, here you go. Because you want to get the house prepped. So when the clients, they walk in, how cool is that with the automatic window coverings? I just did it in the front room also, is I walk around the home and I turn on all the lights. So when they come in, they get the wow factor rather than walking in and having a dark home to look at. So it shows beautiful property. I want to say hi to everybody. So I hope uh, everybody has a name. Okay. And that's it. Yeah. See how quick that was? That was so fast. That was, so fast. That was yeah. it. It, that was probably a 15 second video. Um, it does do 30 seconds now. It only used to do 15, but now you could do 30 seconds as well. But a simple video like that, and he does them all the time, all the time. And I can't tell you how many comments I see on his page of people saying, oh, I'm so glad I found your page. Mm -hmm. And then they start, you know, they're like, I love the homes you share. And he shares tips. So I would recommend doing some tips as well. Even if it's home buying tips, uh, taking care of your home, cleaning, anything, anything like that. Oh, how to keep your windows longer or how to insulate your home so that it's not as cold in the winter, things like that. All you need to do is 15 to 30 seconds reel. That's it. 
And I'm telling you, I know I've said it like a gazillion times, do it. It helps. Um, like I said, I did a reel and with, with my business page, I don't have as many following, but I had a thousand, over a thousand views. Okay. It was my first reel and I literally would get like 63 views on my regular posts, mm -hmm. but on my reel, I got over a thousand. So on your Instagram, you can have a business page as well as a uh, personal page? Yes. Okay. So the business page is where you can see all the insights. Mm -hmm. So the insights is what tells you what they've liked, which post is getting more traction and you want to keep, you know, you want to do the business part, even with your personal page, you can turn that into a business page just to see yes, the, yes, yeah, yes. yeah, just that's to see, uh -huh. what like. yes. yeah, that's what it looks like. So you can see a graph um, and it'll tell you what age mm -hmm. group is following you, things like that. So it's really good tool to have and it's under the settings so when you open a page it'll go under the settings and right there you can click on my account if i'm not mistaken and there you on all the way at the bottom it'll say business page and just just do that because that's how you could do your promotions as well if you wanted to um well we basically already spoke on how it benefits your business it mm -hmm. it helps you fall into the explore page of instagram um, and reels is the main thing that instagram is sharing now so when you go to the explore page which on the bottom it's the little magnifying glass that's ex the explore page if i'm not mistaken and um <laughs> yeah let's see and reels shows up really really big at the top under your search engine yep under that? the search engine yep that would be mm -hmm. your explore page mm -hmm. and reels are being pushed the most at this moment in time mm -hmm. so here's how to do a reel when you go to your home page you click right here bam and right here as we noticed on the other one there was stories posts well here's the reel and then right here to this to the left side is where you can add the audio, the length, the speed, the effects, and the timer. The length, like as I mentioned earlier, it's 15 seconds or 30 seconds long for the reels. Now it would be an IGTV post if you were doing it for like a minute or so, which you can do that as well to explain more of a property. Like let's say you were doing a whole entire home tour, yeah. then you could put that on your IGTV because you never know what other agents may be looking for a home for right. their buyer or okay. vice versa and might come across that and be like, oh, hey, I actually have a buyer that's interested in your listing and so could i go to an open house and do like a um a reels for an open house is it recommended to do just to go to an open house just to get in get buyers regardless of who the um agent is what firm it is or are so, we not recommended to do that no um and you also need to get permission from the owner of the home because some okay. some owners may not want you to do a whole video of the mm. home so you do have to get permission for that good question though because okay. um some people don't want you to record their home yeah. especially if they're still living in it yeah. um, but obviously if they wanted to be sold they would they be highly would recommended yeah. like hey let me do a video especially an open house and if you are uh like if you ask the agent there mm -hmm. i think you could do a small not a whole yeah. thing mm -hmm. and try and not just say hey you know i just walked into this beautiful house and uh you can you know just do a small 15 second okay mm -hmm. yeah okay yep. Also, when you do your bio, see how mine says real estate agent? That's my business page, real estate agent. Mm -hmm. Do the hashtag realtor because if anybody's looking on the search engine and they're looking for realtor VA, see how it says VA right there? And I wrote 757. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. <clears throat> it will pop up. It will pop up even if, you know, they're not specifically looking for my page. It how do you do that? this right here the bio you edit your profile. yeah yeah right here where it says edit profile when you click on that it will say bio you could put on a website so when you see my website's located right there so if you have a link tree or if you've ever heard of a link tree a link tree you can it's a basically a site where you can add multiple 
sites. So let's say you have a YouTube for your homes that you always do videos for, and then you have your real estate page and you want that to be on here. You're only allowed one website. I would highly recommend to check out Linktree because you can put multiple websites. And when they click on the Linktree uh, right here, the link, then it would show up. Okay, this is labeled. So, so you wrote the realtor that's you put that under the bio in your edit profile is correct that you're able to correct. yes okay thanks. this right here where it says real estate agent that was okay, under converted to a business page it asks me what i do when i put real estate agent but the realtor part all this is under my bio including my website my website isn't under bio it says add website or but it's under the edit profile part yeah, I got that part. I just couldn't figure out how you got that extra stuff in there. Thanks. Oh yeah. I just I just click um space bar enter just to make it like that instead of all in one line. I do enter so that it's in separate lines. So see how it's realtor. I put a little house emoji just so that it stands out location more. Mm -hmm. Location and all that added right there. And then this pinpoint is saying. This is my location. I'm here, VA, in the 757. Um, but you could do a little bio about yourself. You can explain, you know, what you do. If your forte is first time home buyers, then, you know, you can write that in there somehow. Highly recommend to put a bio, don't leave it blank, just like in your command, <laughs> Gene. <laughs> and here's your insight information. Now, at I mentioned making stories each day. You, If there's something that you posted in your story and you're like, you know what, this was a, a good tip. I gave a good tip. You can actually save that into your highlights. When I tell you Instagram is loaded with things, there's mm -hmm. so many things you can do with Instagram. It's ridiculous. But right here, you can actually start little um, highlight story highlights. For example, on my personal page, I have like my daughter and any stories that I've posted of my daughter that I really like, I'll put it on that and it'll, it'll keep it there and people can come back to those. And, you know, you can do a bio, write it onto your story right here. You know, you could change the background and type up something about yourself and then save it right here so that when people come to your page, they can see that. Oh, hold on. They, they can see the highlights right there. So this is how you would do the reels. So if you look at this symbol, that's reels. If it doesn't have that symbol, you're probably doing a story and you can adjust how long you want it, music. I think I went over this. Mm -hmm. I think this went backwards. <laughs> All right, now Canva. I use Canva to do a lot of my marketing materials. It's free. You can pay for it as well, but they have so much free that you really don't need to pay for it. Um, you can make flyers, brochures, I probably spelled that wrong, but <laughs> presentations. You can actually even make story posts. So remember when I said make a story post that's interactive? With Canva, you can do that. Now I'm gonna log, or I'm gonna get out of this site and I'm going to show you what Canva is. So this was my presentation. Now we're gonna go ahead and see what Canva is. This, I did this presentation on Canva for free. You can do this with your buyers. You can set up a presentation for your sellers. When you're doing a listing presentation, you can do your ads or you can do your own thing right here. Now, the beauty of Canva is they have templates. So right here, you can click on real estate and here is a whole bunch of templates that you can use. So, and as you can see, they already have it set up. So this is one that I just clicked, okay? And on this presentation, oh, hold on, let me get out of this presentation, why is that? So for example, right here, you can see that it says, it already says like company history and then you can write your own things. If I'm not mistaken, let's see right here. Uh, that is a new page, I'll just do that. 
pricing approaches. And then it basically already has, has them made. So if you wanted to keep it as is, you can, or if you wanted to change it, you know, you liked this background and all that, you can change certain words, you can change whatever you like. And there's so many templates. Now, if it's free, it would say free. They do give you like a trial period. So what you can do is do a trial period, make the presentation and save it. And you can keep using that same presentation and just swap out certain things. So I, I did that before too. <laughs> and then um, it, let's say I had done a presentation. I don't have it on this account, but I did do a, a listing presentation and I posted the picture of the property that I took myself. And then I also put all of the information, like how I did the CMA, basically a CMA and I wrote it on there. And then I have a presentation for <clears throat> buyers. When you're meeting with the buyers, you can use this for that. So I'm gonna take you to their homepage of Canva. And this is the homepage. You can find everything. If you wanna create your own logo, you can create your own logo, right? Here's a presentation and I already set up the um, sizing for you. If you want to make your own logo, there's so many, so many free ones that you can use. Um, in Instagram posts, let me show you that. So for example, I love this. Spring is here and it's a five second video. That's it. You can change the words to it. It doesn't even have to say spring is here. Whatever you want to say. See this one's, well it says free, but it's got a little crown, so I'm not sure, but you can do this and change all the quotes. So basically, you already have all of your content for Instagram right there. They also have video tools. Here's just a few. Resume, if you want a, to build your own resume for any reason. A poster. You can design a poster. And you can find a whole bunch of free ones, or you could start your own design. And... Instagram story. So this is what I was saying with the interactive. You can ask questions. Sometimes they have like, um, here it is. This surviving Valentine's Day GIF challenge. So on Instagram stories, you can add GIFs. Right here it says what I'll do today. You can do a sleeping GIF and then add that into there and then what you want to do is when you post this you post a blank one at the end so that people can do their own and put it into their stories but when you do that you want to put your instagram name somewhere small right here where when they screenshot it to do that on their own story your instagram page will be right there so I don't know if you've ever seen where people, I've, I've seen them on Facebook too, where people will share um, my favorite color and my favorite this, and it'll be a whole thing. And it says, copy and copy this and share with your own info, or whatever. Same thing, but on your stories. And then if it has your page name on it, then when they're sharing it with their own GIFs, your page is on there. So it's free promotion. You know, they're basically promoting your page because someone, even if let's say a hundred people are viewing this other person's story and someone's like, oh, they got this from so-and-so's page. Let me go to so-and-so's page to see if maybe they have more of these or, you know, they're, they're going to be curious. And even if five people click on your page, that's five people that are coming that may like what you've posted or <laughs> may have seen some of the tips that you have posted on home care, home decor, anything and everything. So do interactive stories. So, so that's how that. Write, how do you uh -huh. write on them to put what your page is? Like GIF challenge, how would I put my page on there? So you would save, so you would click on this and you would save it. Let's see. Right here, you would save it. You can already add the GIFs onto it from here, if I'm not mistaken, but I would recommend doing it from your actual Instagram. So once you save this, you go back onto your Instagram and I'm, I'm not on Instagram on here, so I can't 
per se show you, but next time I see you, I'll show you if you still have questions, but you put it onto your Instagram story and under, there's like a, a little picture on the very top and it says GIF. Once you click on it, it'll say GIF. That's how you can add um, music. It'll say like music GIFs, polls. So you could do a poll, like which, you know, what do you think or how old do you think I am? And then do the answers and then they got, you know, things like that. They got questions, um, all the interactive stuff you can find on that. So if you click on the very top, it looks like a little square with a face. Click on that, go under GIFs and then type whatever you're looking for, like crying, happy, running, uh, food, whatever. All of that will show up on there. You just click it and drag it to this part right there. And then you'll go back to that clip, bam, click the GIF, whatever you want to put in there, like Zodiac sign or I don't know, anything. They have it all. <laughs> you just put them and then start, you know, one by one. You have to do one by one. But it, it sounds like it takes a long time. But once you get used to it, it actually takes two minutes of that. Um, and then you can post that in your story. And then, like I said, don't forget to put a blank one after, but make sure that when you do that, put your Instagram right there on somewhere, somewhere in the picture that can't be like cropped out because that's free promo right there. And you can do that within, you know, you can post it on your Facebook. If that's your main, you know, page that you use is Facebook, then you can do that on Facebook as well. When you do that from Instagram, you just save it. There's an option to save your stories. Um, now, when you save a story, it won't save with the music, but it will save with the GIF. So you can save it from that with the GIFs already on it and then post that onto your Facebook page. And then say, here's an empty one if you wanna share it and allow other people to share it. And you know, there's, a whole bunch of layouts. So you can even change mm -hmm. the background. That's what I was going to ask. How do I change that background? Mm -hmm. So if you click on it, mm -hmm. which one do you want? The actual background? Yeah. So go ahead. Ask me anything. Okay. So this says place question sticker here. Your question sticker is found on that little emoji that I said on your stories on the very top. Uh, let me see if I can. Oh, right here. This is your story. Right here, yeah. Place question sticker on your actual Instagram story where um, you click on the very top. There's like a little emoji thing. If you pull it up on there, let me see. I'm, I think you guys could still see my camera. So I'm going to try to share it onto from here. Okay. Let me go ahead. Go my story. So here is your story. And then Let's say you're recording. So we're recording, done. Can you hold that right. fire? If Eight. you see that right there. Uh-huh. That that one right there. You click yeah. on it. Oh, hold on. Click on that and that will show up. So you can put the time, the poll, questions, music, GIF. So when you click on GIF, like that, all of these will show up. Screen share, right? Yeah, I'm on screen share, but I don't know if I can get on Instagram on that, but they can, they can see. see okay. Yeah. Wait, you guys can see, right? Can you guys see my camera still? Yes, we can. Yes. Chris, you had a question? Oh, no, no I was just saying I can see it. Oh, okay. Okay. So, yeah, so you can type in um, whatever GIF you want. And <laughs> as mentioned, you can do music right there you click on that and then whatever songs you want if you're on reels it'll actually tell you which ones are trending on reels and then yeah you can click whatever song you want literally and they have it all and then um let's see donations if there is a donation that you're running they have a lot right you know, that you can choose from right there. So let's say, hey, for today, I would like for you guys to help me raise some money for so-and-so. They have a whole bunch of different ones that you can post up there. Um, I've never used that, but they do have that. They have a countdown. So if you are looking forward to 
an event that you're hosting. You can do a countdown. When you click on that, you can write what it is and then just choose the date and time and all that. And they'll <laughs> count it down for you and you can post that on your story. So that's that. But that's where you find the GIF, the quiz. For example, this one says place question sticker here. This is the question sticker that they're talking about right here. You click on that. And then right here, it says, ask me anything on this actual canvas, Canva one right here. Mm -hmm. You can say that, ask me anything. And then you place that sticker right here. But if you don't want that, you can click on it and just delete. Click on it. You can delete whatever you want from it. If you want to change the background, you can do that. Um, so when you click on it, there and then uh, yeah okay. mm -hmm. so you're creating this in canva and then you post it on and then you your... post it on your page uh -huh. and since this one is interactive so that's good but it's not something that people are probably going to share like this one this one they'll probably more than likely share because they'll add their own gif to it but you can like i said you can take off this heart you can take off whatever you want and they have a whole bunch of different templates that you can choose from if you go like to see all and things like that so as mentioned a lot of them are free but not all of them but you can create your own as well so you can start from a blank canvas and create your own so let's create your design now they have infographics Let's say you want flyers, a card. You can make your own card, like thank you for trusting me with your home sale, whatever you'd like to write, um, business cards. You can design anything, animate it, social media posts. I actually did this on my, my business page. That's how I did my just listed. Basically I had a picture of the home I'm selling and then this, instead of saying shop, it said just list it. And then my picture pops up and my information. So that's something that you can do. Um, an invoice, if you ever needed that. <laughs> um, and you can play with this and see whatever you'd like. Um, as mentioned, if you type in real estate, a lot of things will show up <clears throat> under that. So realtor report. <laughs> Here you can put your home and sell your home with us and you can change anything and everything that's on it. Um, I know that there was, let's see right here. See beach house for sale and then you can add your own pictures. You can change your own. And then all of these designs will be saved on your account. So if you wanted to use that exact same design yeah. for every home you list, you can. And all you would have to do is just switch out the pictures and it would be the exact same design. So I have some designs that I, let me see if I can get to it. I'll show you. Oh, no, 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 not that. So I usually, and they have an app, so you can use this on your phone. It's actually really, really simple on your phone. But as you can see, I made my presentation here. This is one that I did um, my latest post, basically a home maintenance tip. I changed the background color. You can change the color, you can do all that. And then uh, here's another one I did. Um, need more space, talk real estate to me. Uh, let's see, let me see if I can find the one that just listed. So this is one of the interactive ones that I do, this or that. And then on my caption, I'll say, which one would you prefer to live in? And then people will tell you, oh, I'd, I'd rather have this one. I'd rather have that one. You can change the words. So for example, my next one is going to be uh, a living room. And then I'm gonna have two different styles of living room. And then that gets people interacting with your account as well. And they only interact by commenting. Right? By commenting, yeah. yep, or saving it you know, sharing the posts. So it's really good if you share tips because they're more likely to share or save your post and possibly even share it. Or if you do like a quote, you know, mm -hmm. if there's a quote that inspired you that day, mm -hmm. create your own little Canva, put your look, yep, yep, put your Instagram on there, like really small here. Actually, I did that on one of mine. So you can see, let me show you. Mm -hmm. um, right here. So this March May home maintenance tip i wrote that up and then right here you can see home with mary francis 
You can make it bigger if you'd like, change the font size. But I did that in case anybody ever wanted to share this. My page is right there and they will come to my page. Not everybody will, but some people are curious. They're like, oh, let and me see they, if they have any other tips. And can they click on that to go to your page? Is it, no. No, so it's no. all a PDF. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep, it's all I was trying to figure that out because I have Canva on my phone as well. Mm -hmm. I have some designs that I've uh -huh. created and I've tried to figure out how to, but I don't think it allows you to. It's more mm -hmm. for people to share. Mm -hmm. yeah. You just have your name out there, right? Yep. More of a promo thing. Yes. Um, but yeah, so that helps. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's Canva. And that's all I got for you guys for today. Do you guys have any questions? Is there anything in particular that you would like to learn that I can add to this course next month? Because I do plan on switching it up every month. Uh, maybe some, like I said, a command. I know that that's, that might be the next class mm -hmm. on how to do your promotions through that. Mm -hmm. So if you guys have any questions or any suggestions for the next class, let me know. I'm all open so the chat's open too if anybody wants to just write it in instead of speaking anybody got questions yes yeah, quick would, question for you oh sorry go ahead i was gonna say i would love if you could like show us how we could get people from command like to do like let's say if i'm automatically emailing a group how i could then convert them to um checking out my Facebook page, web page, like through doing cute stuff like this. Like, how can we incorporate that? Okay. I think Raymond might have covered a class on that. I'm not 100% sure. I'm almost positive he did because he kind of combines a whole bunch in his, in each class. Um, yeah, but I'll look into that and I'll get back to you with that. So I'll, okay. I'll go ahead and notate that for the next time. I'll, I, I did not see the chat. I'm just now looking at it. Um, so with my personal page, I kept it public. Uh, and my business page definitely is public. I would definitely say keep your business page public so that, you know, people can, other agents can see you, possible potential clients can see you. Now your personal page, you can keep that private if you'd like. Um, mine had been private for a while, but then it went public. I may go back to private, but for now, both are public. But for my clients, I only share my business page. I don't tell them about my personal one because my personal one, I share mostly family and stuff. So yeah, you can, that's your choice, but I definitely would probably keep my business pri or public, public so others can see it. Uh, let's see, how do you get all that information listed under your name, your website? Oh, okay. I think I answered that one already. Um, the bio. Yes. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. So do you guys have any other questions? No. You gave us a lot no, of great tips. Yeah. All right. All right. Well, that's it for today. And I really appreciate you guys joining in and listening to everything I had to say. As mentioned, you can always message me. Uh, my email is maryfrancis at kw.com. Or if you want to write to me on Facebook, you can do that as well. Uh, you can find my page under um, our Facebook group page. And then message me. And like I said, if you have anything that you'd like me to cover, let me know and I'll get that done. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. There's a lot it. of stuff. Thanks. No problem. Bye.